tools and seeds to returning farmers and FAO. So we each of you individually in future, what is the interest of your government? Yeah, today, department? tomorrow and yeah. Wednesday afternoon. Yeah. Okay. All right. We are taking advantage of the investment and promotion act in Southern Sudan in that uh, we are going to, um, uh, they are allowed to bring in equipment, agricultural equipment inputs in terms of tractors, in terms of seats, uh, free of customs. And uh, this is in our investment area. I think they were very happy to learn about this. We will also fast track uh, for non-Sudanese skilled workers in the field of agriculture obtaining visas and work permits. And so you are coming here, it's very good. Uh, as Ambassador Deepak said, actually have now about six million, six to eight million acres reserved okay, for uh, enough land. So we are not producing the uh, oil. Yes. Please sit here with us. That's how you come to sit here. We are going to spread the message and I certainly personally as an Indian believe that agriculture remains the keystone of the development of southern Sudan, not just in terms of food security but also employment and export earnings. We are already growing it here also in the south. Yes. We would like the farmers also to come and train the Sudanese satellite farmers around Libalon workers who will gain experience when they work in these farms but also to give general training for the other farmers that are in the vicinity. We thought we'd uh, give you a small souvenir. I think this would look very nice.